What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. In this video, I'm going to show you how to choose your startup disk on Mac. And there are actually two ways to do this on Mac. You can do so permanently or you can do so on the fly. Now, first of all, to show you the permanent way, open up system preferences, click where it says startup disk, and then you just select the disk. Obviously it needs to be a bootable disk. You select the disk that you want to use to start your computer. And this is a permanent change. Well, I mean, obviously you can go back in here and quickly change it to whatever you want, but every time you reboot, this is the drive that it's gonna boot to. So I just chose the El Capitan boot disk. So now anytime I restart my computer, it's gonna to boot to El Capitan unless I tell it otherwise. So I'm gonna restart right now and it's gonna tell you which one it's gonna to restart to. All right, so we're rebooting. And instead of opening it up to Yosemite, it's gonna to boot to El Capitan because I chose that as the permanent startup disk in the startup disk section of system preferences. Pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty straightforward, right? All right, so there is OS 10 El Capitan. I'm gonna log in. Okay. I don't have anything set up here, so it's doing all sorts of windows and things up for me, um, but that's okay. Now, I'm gonna show you how to, on the fly, temporarily change your startup disk. And this is how you do it on the fly. So let's go ahead and reboot our computer. When you wanna do it on the fly, you simply reboot, and as you're rebooting, you hold the option key on your keyboard. So you wanna just put your finger on the option key, hold it there until you hear the chime, and then you'll see this. This is your startup manager, which allows you to quickly choose which disk you want to boot to. So I'm gonna just choose my Macintosh HD instead of the El Capitan disk. And this is only a temporary thing. Um, so when I boot back up, I'm gonna be on Yosemite, but since El Capitan is my permanent startup disk, anytime I reboot after that, it's gonna boot right back into El Capitan. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you change your startup disk on Mac. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.